Guys, we are living in an extremely chaotic world. We have wars, famishes, natural disasters, illnesses of all kinds. And because of this, we may tend to feel anxious and begin to wonder if happiness is truly something we can find, let alone pursue like it says in the Declaration of Independence. But you know what, I think it's funny. We talk about the pursuit of happiness like it's some type of rare diamond that only the fortunate will be able to find. But it's not. You see, happiness, guys, it's something that originates from inside you. You have to wake up every morning and say, and decide that you're gonna be happy and nobody's gonna be standing in your way. You see, it's a personal choice that we each have to make. Happiness is not something you pursue. Happiness is something that you choose to create. You understand? And people, people are not ignorant of this fact. You know, they understand that they have to create their own happiness and they take the necessary steps. They go online, maybe they read a couple articles on happiness, or they go to the bookstore, they pick up a book with a title such as 21 Ways to Increase Your Personal Happiness and Add Success to Your Life. Maybe, you know, watch a couple of videos online about happiness and they start taking steps in order to become a happier person. But it can only last for so long, you see? It, happiness is not, it's a temporary emotion. It can only last for lo so long until it begins to fade away. And usually by the end of the week after taking those steps and maybe changing a routine in your life to help you feel more energized or whatever, that tends to fade off. It starts to fade away a little bit and you start, your happiness levels begin to decline and you start becoming that person you were when you initially started. So when this happens, what do you do? Well, you probably go to the bookstore again and you pick up another book or you watch more videos online, read more articles. Maybe there was an information that you skipped through and, or you know, you just didn't catch on. And as a result, you, perhaps that's why you're not happy. But really, that's why the self-help industry is raking in all this cash every single year. They rake in millions of dollars every year just because of people like you and I who are struggling to find or create this idea of long-term happiness. And you know why that is? Why human beings just are never satisfied with their level of happiness despite despite you know whatever effort that we put in in order to increase our happiness it's because happiness is not a long-term emotion that's that's the truth about happiness you know we, we think of happiness like it's something that's permanent that if we take steps in order to increase this emotion it's going to stay forever you can't just decide to wake up one morning and say I'm gonna be happy and then you're gonna be happy for the next 30 years yes it's, it's, it's a part of the mindset but there's something better out there you know and, and the reason being why happiness doesn't have a lot of worth is because it's based on circumstances or events that you can't control. Like for example, what makes you happy? Maybe buying a brand new car, brand new uh, convertible, maybe going to a bookstore, reading some books, that's what makes me happy. Maybe going shopping, buying brand new, uh, you know, some, some brand new kicks. Or going to the gym, that makes you happy. Eating, watching Netflix hanging out with your friends, going to the bar, that makes you happy. But if you think about it, it's all based on circumstances or events that you cannot control. All of those things can be easily taken away from you. That brand new car you just bought, you know, that could be like totaled because of a storm and you know, a branch falls on top of your car and destroys it completely. Maybe hanging out with your friends, your boy calls you, he's like, oh bro, I can't, I can't go out today. You know, I'm busy, I gotta help my mom with something. And you're like, wait a minute, I had all these plans today, I'm supposed to go out, it's all ruined. Or maybe you don't have enough food. Maybe, maybe you forgot to go grocery shopping and you, you realize that you know you got to pay rent or go grocery shopping or you got to wait a couple of days. I don't know what your struggles are, but these things can be taken away from you, which is why it's not permanent. You understand? So something that you're really looking for is joy. Joy is a thing that you've been missing. You couldn't really see it because you thought it was a synonym of happiness. It's not. But it's, it's, a, it's an emotion that's a lot more powerful and it's not based on circumstances you can't control. Joy is based on gratitude and helping people out or having a strong connection to another person, somebody you love. Um, it's a spiritual connection, maybe a spiritual connection to something that is bigger than life, perhaps like a God or something. You see, joy is based on other people. It's not about yourself. It's not self-centered like happiness. Joy is about 
you know, just giving back to the universe in some way. Just, it's, it's an emotion that makes you feel like you belong somewhere in life, like, like you are contributing to life in some way. And some examples of this is, you know, like a new father or mother holding their newborn baby for the first time and they're just looking at it like, wow, this is, like, this is amazing, you know, such a beautiful thing, life. Or a billionaire philanthropist who decides to donate generously to the public or to those in need, um, putting his money to good use. Or even yourself, you can demonstrate joy by helping, I don't know, like an old lady cross the road or something. Or just, you know, just helping around, around the house, helping your mother around the house. Or give, giving your time and attention to other people who deserve it, like your wife or your husband or whatever. You know, you can find joy in these little things. And, you know, joy is really powerful. It's so powerful that it can get you through anything. It's because of its, you know, spirit, spiritual characteristics. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys, um, you know, joy is a very spiritual emotion, which is why I feel like it turns a lot of people off when they look into the concept of joy and what it can do for you. Because you go online, maybe you go on Google, turn on the internet or whatever, and all these searches on Google will start to pop up relating to religion and the Bible, spirituality, and that turns a lot of people off. You know, they're like, wait a minute, I came online to try to better myself through something that I can understand, that I can actually believe in, but they throw the Bible and, you know, religion in my face, how can, you know, you know, that turns a lot of people off and then they just, you know, they just forget about it, which is horrible, you know, it sucks, I feel like, because spirituality is one of the four pillars of personal success. The other three are emotional, physical, and mental. You know, it's true that we train these things, or some of us train these things almost every day. You know, we go to the gym to train our body. You know, we, we eat proper foods in order to fuel our body, give us the proper energy. Or we go to school, some of us go to college, pick up a book and we read, that feeds our mind. But what about our spirituality? You know, what do we do? And I'm not telling you guys to join a religion, to read the Bible or whatever, that's not my place. But I'm just saying, you know, you can connect with your spiritual side just by giving your time and your attention, just by, you know, like meditating or just going to the park and like, like, like this, this type of environment and just thinking about life, just thinking about where you belong in the universe and where everything, you know, fits the purpose of your own existence. That's how you can connect to your spiritual side. But, um, you know, my advice to you is if you want to live a truly enjoyable and satisfying life, then do more of the things that add true meaning to your life things that will give you, you know, real, just fill you up with that feeling that, you know, you can't, can't get anywhere else. Or just give your time and attention to those in need, to somebody who deserves it, you know. You can help out other people in different ways. I guess what I'm trying to say is, try to make other people happy and that will come back and give you joy. You know, you know what I mean? But that's just my thought on it, guys. You know, it's just advice as well. But um, I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.